back in 1999, American Pie introduced us to a cast of unforgettable characters, catapulting them into instant stardom and leaving us with scenes that are still iconic today. Now, over two decades later, these actors have taken surprising turns in their careers and lives. Curious to see how much they've changed since their days at East Great Falls High. Jason Biggs, Jim Levenstein. Born on May 12, 1978, was just 21 years old when he took on the role of Jim Levenstein in American Pie. Jim was the quintessential awkward teenager, lovable yet painfully clueless, especially when it came to matters of the heart, and let's be honest, other parts too. Jim's mission in the film was simple yet universal, to lose his virginity before high school graduation. But what made Jim unforgettable wasn't just his goal, it was the way he went about it, stumbling into one embarrassing situation after another, all while keeping that hopeful innocence that made you root for him, no matter how cringeworthy the moment. And speaking of cringeworthy moments, we can't talk about Jim without mentioning that apple pie scene. It's the kind of scene that, once you've seen it, is impossible to forget. In one of the film's most iconic and talked about moments, Jim's curiosity and desperation lead him to an experience with a freshly baked pie that's as hilarious as it is mortifying. Jason Biggs played the scene with a mix of earnestness and comic timing that turned what could have been just a gross outgag into a defining moment in teen comedy. It's the reason why, even years later, Jim Levenstein remains a name people immediately associate with the awkward trials of growing up. Now, fast forward to today, and Jason Biggs is 46 years old, still making his mark in Hollywood. After American Pie, he didn't just fade away like some actors might after such a career-defining role. Instead, he continued to showcase his comedic chops in films like Loser and hit TV shows like Orange is the New Black, where he took on more mature roles that highlighted his versatility as an actor. And of course, he returned to the American Pie universe for the sequels, reminding us all that Jim's journey didn't end with that pie, though it might be what we remember most. Jason Biggs' career is a shout-out to his ability to evolve while staying true to the humor that first made him famous. Whether he's playing a naive teenager or a more complex character, he brings a warmth and relatability that makes him a beloved figure in comedy. From his unforgettable debut in American Pie to his diverse roles in film and television, Jason Biggs has shown that he's far more than just the guy who got caught with a pie. He's an actor with lasting appeal and a career that continues to surprise and entertain. Chris Klein, Chris Oz Ostricker. Chris Klein, born on March 14, 1979, was just 20 years old when he took on the role of Chris Oz Ostriker in American Pie. At that age, Klein perfectly embodied the character of Oz, a high school football star who seemed to have it all. Athletic talent, popularity, and the charm that made him a hit with the ladies. But there was something more to Oz than just the typical jock persona. Beneath that confident exterior was a young man who was starting to realize that there was more to life than touchdowns and cheerleaders. Oz's journey in American Pie is one of transformation. At first, he's your typical sports-focused high schooler, with his mindset on scoring both on the field and off. But then, something happens. He meets Heather, a girl who isn't impressed by his football fame, but sees something deeper in him. It's through his relationship with Heather that Oz begins to change. He joins the a cappella group, not just to impress her, but because he starts to value the sincerity and emotional connection they share. He goes from being a guy who's all about the game to someone who values real, meaningful relationships. Oz's character arc is one of the most heartwarming in the movie, showing that even the most seemingly one-dimensional characters can surprise us with their depth. Fast forward to today, and Chris Klein is 45 years old. After his breakout role in American Pie, Klein didn't slow down. He continued to carve out a successful career in Hollywood, taking on a variety of roles that showed his range as an actor. You might remember him from Election, where he played yet another high schooler, 
but this time with a much darker twist. Then there was We Were Soldiers, where he took on a more serious role, showing that he wasn't just the lovable jock from American Pie. He could handle drama and action with the best of them. And let's not forget his role in The Flash, where he brought his talents to the superhero genre. Chris Klein's journey from Oz to today is a testament to his versatility and staying power in an industry that can be unforgiving. He's shown us that he's more than just the high school heartthrob. He's an actor who can take on a wide range of characters and make them all his own. And just like Oz, who discovered there was more to life than football, Chris Klein has proven there's more to him than just American Pie. He's grown, evolved, and continues to entertain us, all while holding on to that same charm that made us fall in love with Oz in the first place. Natasha Lyon, Jessica Sherman. Now, if you recall Jessica, you know she was far from your typical high school character. Jessica wasn't the shy girl in the corner or the cheerleader with a megaphone. No, she was the wise, sexually experienced friend who seemed to have it all figured out. Jessica was the one you went to for advice when things got complicated, and boy, did things get complicated in American Pie. Jessica's character brought a unique blend of humor and wisdom to the film. She wasn't just there to crack jokes or deliver punchlines. She was the voice of experience among her group of friends. When Vicky and Kevin were navigating the tricky waters of teenage romance, it was Jessica who offered guidance, sometimes blunt, always on point. She had a way of cutting through the confusion with a sharp wit that made you laugh while also making you think. Jessica wasn't just a side character. She was the glue that held some of the film's most memorable moments together, providing a balance of humor and depth that added an extra layer to the comedy. Fast forward to today and Natasha Lyon is 45 years old, with a career that has only grown in stature since her days in American Pie. After the film, she didn't just disappear into the shadows. Instead, she took on roles that showcased her incredible range as an actress. One of her most prominent roles was in Orange is the New Black, where she played Nikki Nichols, a character just as complex and layered as Jessica Sherman, but with a much darker, more serious edge. Leon brought her trademark wit and grit to Nikki, earning critical acclaim and a massive fan base. But she didn't stop there. Natasha went on to star in Russian Doll, a show she also co-created, where she played Nadia Volvokov, a character caught in a surreal, looping narrative that blended dark comedy with existential drama. The show was a hit, further cementing Leon's status as a powerhouse in the industry. And if you go back a bit, you'll also find her in But I'm a Cheerleader, where she tackled the role of Megan, a young girl sent to a conversion therapy camp, a role that combined humor with biting social commentary, something Lyon has become known for. Natasha Lyon's journey from Jessica Sherman to where she is now is nothing short of inspiring. She's proven time and again that she's not just a one-hit wonder from a teen comedy, but a versatile actress with a career that spans genres and generations. Just like Jessica was the wise go-to friend in American Pie, Natasha has become the go-to actress for roles that require depth, humor, and a touch of rebellion. And as we look at where she started and where she's landed, it's clear that Natasha Lyonne is a force to be reckoned with in Hollywood just as Jessica Sherman was in her high school circle. Shannon Elizabeth, Nadia. An international student from the Czech Republic, Nadia was the girl every guy in school had his eyes on, especially Jim. Her character brought a sense of mystery and excitement to the film, and Shannon Elizabeth played her with a captivating mix of confidence and innocence that made her one of the most memorable characters in the movie. Nadia's most unforgettable moment one that has been etched into the minds of fans for decades was her iconic undressing scene. It wasn't just about the shock factor, it was a pivotal moment in the movie that perfectly captured the awkwardness and vulnerability of teenage desires. Jim's bumbling attempts to impress her, combined with Nadia's unknowing involvement in one of the film's most cringeworthy yet hilarious scenes, created a moment that became a defining part of American Pie's legacy.
Shannon Elizabeth's portrayal of Nadia wasn't just about her looks, it was about how she embodied the character's allure while also playing a crucial role in the film's comedic narrative. Today, Shannon Elizabeth is 51 years old. And while Nadia may have been her breakout role, Shannon has continued to make her mark in Hollywood. After American Pie, she took on roles in movies like Scary Movie and Jack and Jill, showing off her versatility and comedic timing. But Shannon's influence didn't stop at acting. She's also become heavily involved in charity work, particularly in animal rescue and protection, proving that her talents and passions extend far beyond the screen. From being the object of teenage fantasy to making a real difference in the world, Shannon Elizabeth's journey has been as dynamic as the character she played. Thomas Ian Nicholas, Kevin Myers Thomas Ian Nicholas, born on July 10, 1980, was only 19 years old when he played the role of Kevin Myers in American Pie. Kevin was the serious, responsible friend, the guy with the plan. While the rest of the group was caught up in their teenage antics, Kevin was the one who kept them grounded, devising the infamous first-time plan that drove much of the movie's plot. Thomas Ian Nicholas brought a sincerity to Kevin that made him both relatable and likable. He wasn't just about chasing after girls, he was about doing it right, with a sense of respect and responsibility that set him apart from his friends. Kevin's leadership role in the group wasn't just about organizing their plan, it was about guiding his friends through the confusing and often overwhelming world of teenage relationships. His relationship with Vicky was one of the more serious and heartfelt aspects of the film, providing a counterbalance to the movie's more outrageous moments. Through Kevin, we saw a character who was genuinely trying to navigate love and relationships with maturity, even if he didn't always get it right. Today, Thomas Ian Nicholas is 44 years old, and his career has been just as steady and reliable as the character he portrayed. After American Pie, he continued to act, but he also explored his passion for music, releasing several rock albums over the years. Whether on screen or on stage, Thomas has remained a creative force, showing that his talents go far beyond playing the responsible friend. His journey from Kevin Myers to where he is today reflects the same dedication and commitment that made his character a cornerstone of American Pie. Jennifer Coolidge, Stifler's Mom Stifler's Mom wasn't just any character, she was a phenomenon. With her mature confidence and undeniable charm, she turned the stereotype of the hot mom on its head, creating a character that was both hilarious and unforgettable. Jennifer Coolidge played her with a perfect blend of humor and allure, making Stifler's mom a fan favorite who stole every scene she was in. Stifler's mom wasn't just a punchline, she was a character with depth, brought to life by Coolidge's impeccable comedic timing and charisma. Her interactions with Finch, in particular, added a layer of absurdity and humor to the film that became one of American Pie's most iconic elements. Stifler's mom wasn't just a character, she was a cultural touchstone, representing a kind of confident sexuality that was both empowering and incredibly funny. Clyde Kusatsu, English teacher. Clyde Kusatsu, born on September 13, 1948, was 52 years old when he stepped into the role of the English teacher in American Pie. While his character might not have been the most prominent in the film, he played a crucial part in adding a layer of calm and approachability to the chaotic high school environment. The English teacher wasn't just a background figure, he contributed to the film's comedic atmosphere with a steady hand, providing a sense of normalcy amidst the teenage antics that defined the movie. Kusatsu's portrayal of the English teacher was subtle yet impactful reminding us of the authority figures who were always there, often unnoticed, guiding the students with patience and understanding. In a film dominated by outrageous humor and adolescent mischief, the English teacher served as a grounding force. 
His calm demeanor and approachable nature provided a contrast to the wild antics of the students, making his character a quiet yet essential part of the comedy. Kusatsu's performance added a touch of realism to the film, highlighting the everyday interactions that often go overlooked but are essential to the fabric of school life. Today, Clyde Kusatsu is 75 years old and continues to be a respected figure in the entertainment industry. After American Pie, he took on a variety of roles, including appearances in Hawaii Five, Zero, and The Simpsons, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Beyond his on-screen work, Kusatsu has also made significant contributions behind the scenes, particularly in his leadership roles within the Screen Actors Guild. His career reflects a dedication to both his craft and the industry, making him not just a memorable part of American Pie, but a lasting presence in Hollywood. Eddie K. Thomas, Paul Finch Finch wasn't your typical high schooler. He was the guy with a sophisticated edge, a love for mochaccinos, and a vocabulary that set him apart from his peers. But what really made Finch stand out was his complicated relationship with Stifler, the brash and boisterous jock who couldn't have been more different. Finch's intelligence and refined style made him an odd fit in the group, yet it was this very contrast that made his characters so memorable. The dynamic between Finch and Stifler was one of the film's most entertaining elements. While Stifler was loud and often obnoxious, Finch was calm, collected, and seemed to have a wisdom beyond his years. Their love-hate relationship added depth to the film's humor, with Finch often getting the last laugh, especially when it came to his infamous tryst with Stifler's mom. Thomas's portrayal of Finch was a perfect blend of humor and subtlety, making him one of the standout characters in a movie full of big personalities. Now at 43 years old, Eddie K. Thomas has continued to carve out a successful career in the entertainment industry. After American Pie, he reprised his role in the sequels, continuing Finch's story. But he didn't stop there. Thomas took on roles in other films and television series, including Scorpion, where he showcased his ability to bring depth and nuance to different characters. His ongoing involvement in the industry proves that he's far more than just the quirky guy from American Pie. He's an actor with range and staying power. Lawrence Pressman Football coach. Lawrence Pressman, born on December 10, 1939, was 62 years old when he portrayed the football coach in American Pie. As the coach of the football team that featured characters like Oz and Stifler, Pressman's role was pivotal in shaping some of the film's key comedic moments. The football coach wasn't just there to blow a whistle, he was a figure of authority who added to the film's humor through his interactions with the students particularly in the scenes involving the football team's antics. The football coach's presence in the movie served as a reminder of the adult figures who, whether aware of it or not, played a role in the wild experiences of the teenage characters. Pressman's portrayal brought a mix of seriousness and subtle comedy, contributing to the overall dynamic of the film. His character may not have been front and center, but he added depth to the storyline, making the high school setting feel authentic and relatable. At 84 years old, Lawrence Pressman has continued to be an active presence in Hollywood. After American Pie, he took on roles in series like The Secret Life of an American Teenager and The Young and the Restless, demonstrating his versatility and longevity in the industry. Pressman's career is a shout-out to his talent and dedication, showing that even in supporting roles, he could leave a lasting impact. Chris Owen, Chuck the Shermanator Sherman If you've seen the movie, you know exactly who I'm talking about. The Shermanator wasn't just any high school kid, he was the self-proclaimed ladies' man who believed he was destined for greatness, thanks in no small part to his obsession with the Terminator movies. Chris Owen played Sherman with a perfect mix of overconfidence and endearing awkwardness, turning what could have been a forgettable side character into one of the film's most memorable figures. Sherman's character was all about comic relief. 
In a movie full of outrageous moments, it was the Shermanator who gave us some of the biggest laughs. His delusional self-assurance, combined with his complete lack of actual game, made him both hilarious and oddly relatable. Who doesn't remember his deadpan delivery and that iconic line about being the Shermanator? Owen's performance struck just the right balance, making Sherman ridiculous yet somehow lovable. He wasn't the coolest kid in school by any stretch, but he sure thought he was, and that's what made him unforgettable. Now fast forward to today, and Chris Owen is 43 years old. While he might always be remembered as the Shermanator, his career didn't stop there. After American Pie, he took on roles in films like Cheaper by the Dozen and The Hot Chick, continuing to bring his unique brand of humor to every character he played. Though he's never quite shaken off the shadow of the Shermanator, Owen has managed to carve out a niche for himself in Hollywood, proving that even the quirkiest of characters can have a lasting impact. From high school misfit to enduring comedy icon. Molly Cheek, Mrs. Levenstein. Molly Cheek, born on April 22, 1946, was 53 years old when she stepped into the role of Mrs. Levenstein in American Pie. As Jim's mother, Mrs. Levenstein brought a sense of warmth and stability to the film, balancing out the chaotic and often outrageous antics of the teenagers. Molly Cheek portrayed her with a gentle, caring demeanor, making Mrs. Levenstein the kind of mom who was always there with a reassuring smile and a supportive word, even when things got awkward, especially when things got awkward. Mrs. Levenstein's role in the movie wasn't just about being a background character, she was the emotional anchor in Jim's life. Whether she was dealing with Jim's embarrassing situations or offering him motherly advice, she was the embodiment of unconditional love and support. Her character added a layer of genuine affection to the film, reminding us that behind every bumbling teenager is a parent who's seen it all and still loves them anyway. Molly Cheek's performance made Mrs. Levenstein a relatable and beloved figure, someone who brought heart to the comedy. Today, Molly Cheek is 78 years old and her career has spanned numerous roles beyond American Pie. After the film, she appeared in popular series like The West Wing, Seinfeld, and The New Adventures of Old Christine, continuing to bring her warmth and versatility to every role. Molly Cheek's portrayal of Mrs. Levenstein remains one of her most memorable performances. Tara Reed, Vicky. Vicky was the innocent, sincere girlfriend of Kevin Myers, bringing a sweet and considerate presence to the film's ensemble cast. Tara Reed portrayed Vicky with a sense of genuine vulnerability, making her character one of the more relatable figures in a movie filled with over the top humor. Vicky's relationship with Kevin was at the heart of the film's romantic subplot. As they navigated the complexities of their teenage romance, Vicky's character brought both humor and touching moments to the story. Her concerns about love, commitment, and the future were portrayed with a sincerity that added depth to the film's otherwise comedic tone. Tara Reed's performance made Vicky a character audiences could empathize with as she balanced the awkwardness of first love with the desire for something real and meaningful. Today, Tara Reed is 48 years old and has continued to make a name for herself in Hollywood. After American Pie, she took on roles in films like Van Wilder, Party Liaison, and the cult classic Sharknado series, where she once again showcased her ability to blend humor with genuine emotion. She also appeared on Celebrity Big Brother, adding reality TV to her repertoire. Tara Reed's journey from Vicky to her current status as a pop culture icon reflects her adaptability and enduring appeal in the entertainment industry. Mena Suvari, Heather. Heather was the sweet and innocent member of the school choir, a character who seemed almost too good to be true in the wild world of teenage mischief. But there was more to Heather than just her choir girl persona. She was the love interest of Chris Oz Ostriker, and her relationship with him was one of the film's most heartfelt storylines. 
Heather's character played a crucial role in Oz's transformation from a typical high school jock into someone who valued true love and maturity. Their relationship wasn't just about physical attraction, it was about finding something deeper, something real. Mina Suvari brought a sense of grace and sincerity to Heather, making her a character who stood out in a film that often veered into outrageous comedy. Her portrayal of Heather showed that even in the midst of teenage chaos, there's room for genuine connection and growth. Eugene Levy, Noah Levenstein Noah was a character who embodied the classic dad-trying-too-hard vibe. He wasn't just any father. He was the kind of dad who would walk in on you at the worst possible moment and then try to turn it into a life lesson. Libby's portrayal was both cringeworthy and heartwarming, making Noah one of the most memorable characters in a film full of standout moments. Noah Levenstein was the kind of dad who didn't shy away from the uncomfortable conversations. Oh no, he dove headfirst into them, often with disastrous yet comedic results. One of the most iconic father-son moments in film history is undoubtedly the scene involving the infamous apple pie. When Noah walks in on Jim in the middle of an, let's say, experiment with a pie, Levy's delivery is nothing short of perfect. Instead of yelling or storming out, Noah awkwardly tries to turn the situation into a bonding moment, complete with stammering advice and the offer to keep things hush-hush from Jim's mom. It's in this scene that Levy shines, portraying a father who's desperately trying to connect with his son while completely missing the mark in the most endearing way possible. But it wasn't just the apple pie scene that made Noah Levenstein such an iconic character. Throughout American Pie and its sequels, Noah was always there with his awkward wisdom and overly supportive nature. Whether it was giving Jim a pep talk about relationships or stumbling through a conversation about the birds and the bees, Noah's presence added a layer of genuine warmth to the film's raunchy humor. Libby's performance brought a sense of realness to a movie that was otherwise filled with over-the-top antics. He was the dad who, despite his blunders, truly cared about his son and wanted to help him navigate the awkwardness of growing up, even if that help was more embarrassing than useful. Fast forward to today, and Eugene Levy is now 77 years old, still very much active and beloved in the entertainment world. While many might remember him first and foremost as Jim's dad, Levy's career has been anything but one-dimensional. In fact, after American Pie, Levy reached new heights of fame and critical acclaim with his work on the hit television series Schitt's Creek. Not only did he star in the show as the lovable Johnny Rose, but he also served as a producer and co-writer, working alongside his son, Dan Levy, to create a series that would go on to win numerous awards and capture the hearts of audiences worldwide. Schitt's Creek allowed Levy to showcase a different side of his talent, blending his signature comedic timing with a deeper, more nuanced performance. As Johnny Rose, Levy portrayed a once wealthy man who had lost everything but his dignity and love for his family. The show was a massive success, not just because of its humor, but because of its heart, something Levy has always been exceptional at conveying. His work on Schitt's Creek proved that he wasn't just the funny dad from American Pie. He was a versatile actor with the ability to create characters that resonate on a much deeper level. From his days as the awkward yet lovable Noah Levenstein to his award-winning turn as Johnny Rose, Eugene Levy has proven time and again that he's a master of his craft. He has the rare ability to make you laugh until you cry, and then, in the next moment, make you feel the emotional weight of a character's journey. His career is a testament to his talent, his dedication, and his unique ability to bring characters to life in a way that feels both genuine and timeless. Whether you're re-watching American Pie for the hundredth time or binge-watching Schitt's Creek for the first, there's no denying that Eugene Levy is one of the greats, an actor who has left an indelible mark on the world of comedy and beyond. Allison Hannigan, Michelle Flaherty If you think back to the film, Michelle wasn't just another character in the ensemble. 
she was the one who surprised everyone with her quirky, offbeat charm. With her trademark line, this one time at Bandcamp, Michelle quickly became a fan favorite. Hannigan played her with such an infectious energy that it was impossible not to be drawn to Michelle's unique mix of innocence and unexpected boldness. She wasn't the girl you expected to steal the show, but every time she was on screen, she commanded your attention. Michelle's character in American Pie was unlike any other in the film. While the other characters were wrapped up in the usual teenage angst and awkwardness, Michelle brought something different to the table. She was quirky, yes, but there was a depth to her that made her more than just the band camp girl. Her relationship with Jim was one of the film's most surprising and endearing developments. What started as a casual fling turned into something much more meaningful, and it was Michelle's ability to be herself, unapologetically and without pretense, that drew Jim and the audience in. Hannigan's portrayal of Michelle was pitch perfect, capturing the essence of a character who was both hilariously odd and genuinely lovable. As the American Pie series continued, Michelle's relationship with Jim evolved, and so did her character. By the time we get to American Wedding, Michelle had gone from being the quirky band camp girl to someone who was about to marry the love of her life. It was a transformation that felt natural, largely because of Hannigan's skill in making Michelle both relatable and real. She wasn't just a character in a comedy. She was someone you could imagine knowing in real life, someone who might seem a little odd at first, but who you'd eventually realize has a heart of gold. Today, Allison Hannigan is 50 years old, and while Michelle Flaherty might have been her breakout role in American Pie, it was far from her last. After the success of American Pie, Hannigan went on to star as Lily Aldrin in the hugely popular TV series, How I Met Your Mother. Once again, she brought her signature blend of humor, warmth, and relatability to the role, making Lily one of the most beloved characters on television for nearly a decade. Hannigan's ability to play characters who are both funny and heartfelt has made her a fixture in the entertainment industry. But Hannigan's career isn't just about the roles she's played, it's about the way she's approached her work. She's known for her professionalism, her dedication to her craft, and her ability to make even the most outlandish characters feel grounded and real. Whether she's playing a band geek who surprises everyone or a kindergarten teacher navigating the ups and downs of life, Hannigan brings a depth to her roles that sets her apart. In addition to her acting, Hannigan has also embraced her role as a mother and wife, balancing her family life with her career in a way that many find inspiring. She's stayed active in the industry, taking on new projects and continuing to connect with audiences through her work. It's clear that Hannigan isn't just resting on her laurels. She's constantly evolving, much like the characters she plays. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.